Hello, so here's a small video, this time in English, because uh, I'm happy to report that after a lot of adventure, a lot of conversation, a lot of iteration, uh, Motion Monkey finally made it to the Apple Store. Um, it's been a long journey for me, uh, even though people might not be aware of it. It's uh, very difficult this way to push innovative software on stores, whether it's Android or whether it's uh, Apple. Uh, they're very suspicious. Motion Monkey happens to integrate a BitTorrent peer-to-peer player on other platforms, which is naturally entirely banned on uh, the Apple ecosystem, if you will. So I had to really certify them that there is no trace of that, uh, uh, whether they're functional or whether they're just uh, text uh, or strings that, that refer to it or configuration files. So I had to strip the application entirely of such functionality and make it work. And I'm happy to report that aside from a BitTorrent playback, the entire Motion Monkey experience is intact. And in fact, it's working very well on the um, on the iPhone uh, hardware and software. It runs uh, almost uh, instantly. Here's how it looks. There's a light theme. There's also a night uh, theme that looks uh, pretty cool. Uh, you have the very same experience that you'd have on Android and other phones, which means that you can access right away content via this streamlined uh, player. And it's the first semantic player of its kind that I'm aware of. And the semantic player essentially is, you know, instead of accessing content via file descriptor, input files or medium, you access them through uh, semantics. So whether it's a search query or a language like the VML, like, like the VBML language that I've been developing for uh, this uh, player, uh, you access content via uh, language. And so it's a bit difficult to, to explain to people uh, why it's such um, um, a different proposition than what we used to. Uh, the multimedia player is still going to be uh, useful on many cases, on many cases scenario. But uh, since we're in a post-internet age, if you will, and since there is an abundance of um, media available on modern networks, uh, I thought that it would be useful to revisit and to push multimedia playback forward and to work on a, an entirely new proposition in the multimedia player uh, family that will complement what's already there and also push the boundaries in new ways to some regard. And uh, um, a lot of people are going to be confused. A lot of people are going to say, uh, look, it's just a wrapper. It's just uh, you have YouTube and Dailymotion at the same place. But it's uh, something else entirely, really. It's, it's really a tool that's going to serve your best interest at all time. It's really a tool that connects you uh, directly to the resource with no intermediary between you and the content. It's really a tool that will be expanded tremendously via the dedicated language I've been working on, which is called VBML. There's also an equivalent of what you would find in the web world, you know, a universal resource locator URL, an equivalent for video that I call video tag. And there's an upcoming project, which is a remote video scre screen that lets you use Motion Monkey as a remote for the next generation uh, television, which I hope will be useful for people. And um, I'm, doing, I'm doing this, uh, I'm really doing this software with a, a focus on the user, serving the user. That's a software I could recommend, uh, I could recommend in, in my own family, to my own brother, to my own mother, to my own, you know, the closest people in my life, I could recommend the software to them, just like I could re re uh, recommend a VLC Media Player. So it's really built to serve people's best interest and to push innovation forward. It's based on open source technologies. Uh, most of its technology is entirely open source, LGPL licensed. And uh, the interpretation, the client itself would be closed source for a uh, you know, for a short amount of time, and maybe at one point I'll open the code entirely. And so, yeah, it's like that. Try it on. You just type Motion Monkey on the App Store, and uh, you'll find it. And uh, it's it works very well. It's uh, it serves your best interest at all time, and uh, it's um, it's really streamlined and efficient. And uh, you just focus on the content on the video, 
and you can share it glass to glass with any other device and uh, yeah hopefully it will be useful for you